I've been an IT manager for over 10 years and dealing with telecom companies is absolutely the worst when it comes to telephony and dealing with VoIP and all the shadiness behind all those big businesses that basically take control of your numbers and give you some proprietary system and lock you into a long multi-year contract. It's just a terrible way of doing business. And that's where the sponsor of this video, 3CX comes in. I've used them professionally for four years, not just my business, but also uh, the business I work for, um, that I've worked for for over a decade. I've switched them over four years ago and it's a 30, 30 or so seat uh, 3CX install and it works great. And if you wanna know how to install 3CX, I've done a couple videos, both self-hosted and hosted are options depending on your size and your structure. You can choose the one that works for you. But why 3CX, why, why bother doing any of this? That's the big thing. And uh, by just transitioning that one company over, they were paying roughly $800 a month for another telephone, uh, telephony system with a whole bunch of the same features as 3CX. And you know that adds up. That's a roughly almost, almost $10,000 a year is what they were spending. And well, they don't spend nearly that now. So let's go over pricing first. And then right here, you can see all the pricing. This is basically anything under 10 users, just use the free thing. Just try it out, see how it is. Uh, and then you have all these are hosted. You can actually do unhosted and you can see the, the price actually drops substantially if you want to host it on-prem if you want or maybe do a VPS in cloud. Personally, you know, if you don't want to deal with that hassle, you can just do hosted uh, depending on your needs. Both options are very viable. And then uh, SMB is, you know, if you're in that 10 to 20 user, you know, sweet spot, I'd just go with the SMB and that's that's hosted and they just take care of everything for you on the setup side of things. Now, this is extremely powerful because you can do it through a dedicated phone like this right here. You know, this is just a Yealink T48 desk phone. I'm still kind of old school. I like the desk phones. They just work. Uh, but if you want, you also have web clients like this to where you could actually generate and call people right here in in app. You know, you could just pull this up and make a call. Um, this actually calls from here, but you could also set soft clients up or even better yet. You can actually bring up your on your actual mobile device, whether it's an iPhone, Android and make the calls directly in app. So showing those three ways uh, really expands how much you can do with this system and have complete ownership. So let's say you don't like 3CX, <laughs> there's no contract. And the best part is you own the numbers, you're registering your own trunk, you're, you're doing it all. So that means if you want to switch to a system, you can. You can just register that trunk somewhere else and you can convert in minutes instead of waiting weeks for number ports. And, and anybody that's done a number port in telecom knows how much of a nightmare that is to do. So getting all this ownership is so awesome. Now, I'm not going to go through all the features on here. I just wanted to show uh, the main uh, phone system management right here and what that looks like. This is actually my trunk registration. Now, you could use, uh, again, use different providers here. So if we add another SIP trunk, you can see, pick your country, if I'm in the US, and you can see a lot of different ones. Uh, I currently use FlowRoute, but you can use all these other ones. Some of them are more limited. They do have their preferred and supported. I'm personally, I've just used FlowRoute and I don't feel like porting my numbers and I've used them for a long time with other systems. So I just kind of sit on them, but very cool and wide support. You also have all the users right here where you register the users and then you can register the phones directly and provision them, which is kind of insane uh, where you can do web client provisioning. You can do, you know, in-app provisioning app for Android. You can do the desktop client that I just talked about. And then we also have a fanville inside in the computer room and all this can be just clicked and you can upgrade firmware, reprovision it, assign users all easily with the click of a button. You can also, uh, let's say, push out massive changes. Let's say your, your BLFs or your, your busy lamp fields right here. You could easily just add them and then provision all your phones and, and get it uh, registered directly on there without having to go to every single phone or log into every phone through like a web portal. You know, all those nightmare things you run into with some other uh, configurations. 
I only show this too because I really didn't want to do this for the business, by the way. It's not something that I was like, man, it's just such a headache. I don't really want to maintain much because I'm more of in a low key state, more in the YouTube side, less in the telephony side these days. But after finding this and actually using it for years, I can tell you. I have loved it much better than actually having to deal with any of the old shenanigans uh, I, I had. So with phone setup, user setup, what else can you do with this? The other cool thing is the web portal. So this is actually the web portal. I just set like a mobile number here. You have all in the settings menu. You can come down into here and you can actually set up custom forwards. So you have present states. Let's say I'm away. I can actually set my away to say, hey, forward internal calls to mobile because I'm actually away from my desk, but external calls, I still want to go to my voicemail. And you can specify exactly where these things go. And if you're like on D&D, let's say, hey, I'm putting D&D on and I only want to get internal calls or external calls. You can just, you know, say, hey, I'm really in focus mode now. I'm going to just set everything to busy, busy on uh, do not disturb for internal calls that's pretty powerful. So if let's say something inside wants to call me out here in the studio, they ring me, but I'm in the middle of recording. I hit D and D on, it's just going to give them a busy signal and they're going, Oh, well, he's recording, but coming back into the system or the phone system, you can actually set up office hours as well. So let's say you wanted to set an out of office ringer after like nine to five. So let's say you're in the office eight to five, we'll set that up. And then after these, hours let's just set that up across the board there we go monday through friday eight to five pretty standard work day uh you can actually set up and say hey after those hours do that or we could add specific holidays so um you know what every christmas december 25th every year i want to say a specific uh office closed dot wave file now you can add these by just uploading a WAV file, you can record using your extension right here. It'll call the extension, and then we just say, Hey, it's Christmas time, leave me alone, hang it up, you're good. I mean, that's kind of cool. Let's let's just do that right now. All right, my phone's ringing, it says to record file. It's Christmas time, leave me alone, call me back at another time. Bye. All right, with that done, we should have a new one. In here called sample wave and we can actually manage and play that okay so now that we've recorded that sample you'll see christmas up here our sample dot wave hit okay and then we have that entire holiday every year that'll just automatically do it no switching or remembering about it you set your holidays you set your office hours and you also have all your ivrs under digital receptionist so then you can specify hey when the office hours are here maybe send it to this ivr for when it's outside of office hours, have it all answered by, you know, an actual digital person, or you, let's say you have a real receptionist, uh, like the business I have is you would actually pick it up nine to five. It'd be an actual receptionist. And then after hours, it would roll over to the IVR kind of a really neat way of doing things. And you also have the holidays, like I mentioned. And the best part is for somebody on the go, having access to your desk phone. And that's when the app comes into play. You can actually make and receive calls directly here. Anytime someone comes in and calls, this phone will ring. So if I were to actually make a call directly here, it would ring on my cell phone if, if somebody called me directly. You do have some SMS uh, and MMS messages that can come in. Also a live chat, which I've also done a separate YouTube video on my secondary channel about. You got voicemails right here. Uh, I would show more uh, of these. Uh, my contacts are actually uh, populated from my Android phone and my business contacts. So I don't want to actually show that because that's real numbers. Most of this is just junk right here. Uh, you can actually see the calls that came in and, and I picked up when we recorded that holiday greeting and then internal team. So you could actually see uh, the different uh, phone extensions right here in this setup kind of an amazing program. I love 3CX and I, a lot of times, you know, a lot of people don't hear about this stuff, but again, the best part is taking complete control of your phone system, being able to register your numbers at your own provider, bring those into a system like 3CX and then register and do it all yourself. And then let's say you want to switch systems or whatever it is, you just do it. You don't need to port your numbers off to some other provider or call someone else for help. 
it's all just right here at your fingertips. So thank you 3CX for sponsoring this video, but thank you so much for actually making a good product because telecom has been absolutely maddening before really doing a product like this instead of farming it out to some other service. But with that said, let me know your comments down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.